This is the first collab we did, yeah, with uh, Puma. There was an anniversary for this shoe. This shoe is made famous from like B-Boys and Breakdancing and Beastie Boys and uh, different things in New York City. Go rock anything with these in golf because if you do want to go like athletic guy in an outfit with like what I'm wearing, where this is mainly dry and then you put this on it instead, then it just, it sophisticates everything for a club immediately. Kick us off, give us your name and tell us where we're at today. My name's Stephen Mob. look at you. Yeah, look at me. My name's Stephen Mob, and we're in Virginia Beach, Virginia, home of the Neptunes. <laughs> Our mission is to inspire young people to participate in golf, right? So it doesn't mean you have to play, but to participate, you could wear a golf hat, you could watch it on TV, you could you could go play putt-putt, you could play golf uh, PGA 2K, right? There's plenty of ways to participate in the sport other than going and becoming a master at a hard thing and going and playing Pinehurst number two. So working with StockX is great because the audience is younger and more open-minded into a different way of, of seeing golf. And so if, if StockX is helping us get the message out and, and helping us get our apparel out and helping us kind of spread that message of, of golf is actually like, can be really fun, it's great. Uh, yesterday was, was a good time. We went to uh, Cedar Point Golf Course where they have an 18 hole golf course and then they have a, a par three, small mini short par three course on the river of uh, the James River, going out to the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic. And my son Remington, myself, and um, Faith and Hope, who are two state junior sensation golfers. It's much more for fun playing with a group of juniors. It's very serious and it's very high level, it's, it's very high competition, but at the same time, it's, it's uh, everyone's out there just to have fun. And that's, uh, you know, you can feel it when you're playing with a nine-year-old, it's a lot more fun. When a nine-year-old makes a 10-foot putt, it's a lot more exciting than when a 70-year-old man makes a 10-foot putt. You know, seeing him have the confidence that he has, he's, you know, he's, he's as confident as like Floyd Mayweather in his prime at nine years old. So he talks shit and he, he backs it up somehow. You know, I stopped when I was 16 because none of my friends did it and no one wanted to do it. It was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna just do this by myself. He's kind of grown up around it and seen a side of it, the new face where it's like, no, this actually is cool. I think that in the last few years or, or what have you, that there's been more people who have loved golf who have stopped almost being embarrassed of the, the fact that they golf, right? So like surfers are allowed to go golfing because the, the waves aren't always perfect. So if it's flat and there's no waves and you're in Hawaii, your fans aren't gonna call you a sellout because you went and played golf at Turtle Bay. Pipelines, there's no waves, I'm gonna go golf Turtle Bay, it's outside, it's Aloha, let's go, perfect. Skateboarding, it's like, because it's so anti-skateboard, right? It's like, you're golfing? Now it's like, yeah, we're golfing. My wife, she's like, the only thing you like to talk about is golf, the only thing you like to do is golf anyway, so like, we, we don't figure out a, golf business to keep you focused, then I don't know what we're gonna do. I love golf, right? So I grew up playing tailor-made clubs and being able to design like a sweater for tailor-made, it's like, all right, I made it. You know, there's other people that, that you know, maybe like Wu-Tang Clan and are really good at golf. They don't wanna look like a PGA Tour player when they're playing golf. They wanna feel comfortable and feel like they could go even skate in the morning, play golf in the afternoon, go to dinner at night, wear the same outfit. Before starting the brand, like golf wasn't cool. And now it's like kind of cool, right? So it's like, we're, I think it's going in the right direction. It's not getting worse, but there's a long ways to go still. That's the challenge that's not gonna go away.